Hello YouTube and Diecast Fanatics. This is Wheels Walmy coming at you. I got a video here um, just of monster trucks. Um, I'm really excited for this video. Um, I've been starting to collect a couple of, my, um, of the Hot Wheels Monster Jam monster trucks. And uh, I also have four from uh, my childhood and I also picked up four um, from a vintage toy store um, the other day. So I want to tell you guys about all of them um, and I want to crack open a couple of them too so uh, first of all I'm going to show you guys all of my monster trucks here um, here are the ones from my childhood um, we got Vet King as you can see Vet King uh, we have Blacksmith it's a cool cool truck um, next up Blue Thunder built Ford Tough and then we have Maximum Destruction, and this one is the Chrome Edition. It's really shiny. <laughs> um, so there's those four from my childhood. Um, and then I picked up four from an antique toy store. Here's the first one called Toad. And these are Matchbox monster trucks from the 1980s, I believe, and they're really cool. This one actually is working post strap harness things. Check out the bottom of those. Save matchbox. Uh, the second one is Big Pete. I think these two were five dollars each. This one has a working little dump truck thing here. Really cool. These were in really good shape. This one these especially the tires are just in really good shape. The wheels are nice. Look at the good years on there. I love these. These were like the first crack at it that they they had um, to do monster trucks. Um, then I got a USA one, one of my favorite vintage monster trucks right here. The USA one, just awesome. This one's not as clean, um, but it's still in pretty good condition for being a toy from the eighties. <laughs> USA One, good old Rod Litzow and Steve Wilkie from, um, that truck was originally from Minnesota, um, one of my favorite monster trucks. And then the other one I picked up was Awesome Kong 2, another vintage Matchbox, mon Matchbox monster truck. This one's not in as good condition, I think it was like 2 or $3. Um, you can see the wheel right here, someone like scraped the wheel off. Um, so it looks kind of weird on this side, but that's okay. I'll just display it on the on its other side. But I really like these. I'd love to look for more of them. I got this one for two or two or three dollars. I don't remember. This one I got for I think six, and these two were five, um, which I thought were pretty good prices because um, normally on on eBay uh, the vintage monster trucks can go from anywhere from ten to fifty bucks. Um, so those are my vintage ones that I picked up. Really neat. Um, here's a couple that I got at Goodwill recently. I think I made a couple videos already on those um, that I picked up. Airborne Ranger. Cool, cool camel. Blacked out tires. Really neat truck. Here's King Crunch. Really nice vintage monster truck. And uh, I also have another vintage one, Excalibur. Um, and then I found the other Excalibur, the new truck, um, at Goodwill. And then here are my grave diggers. I got three grave diggers. I've had, you know, I had a bunch more monster trucks like that when I was little, but I don't know where they went, and those are the only four I could find. Um, so here's my two, my three grave diggers. Um, I got this one recently, just the regular grave digger. Um, I think it says four time champion up here. Might be four time Monster Jam World Finals champion, so maybe that was 2010, 2011, maybe. Um, and I have also have the Edge Glow roll cage, so I wanted to crack that open. It also says four-time racing champion. Um, and then I got this one from that same vintage toy store. It's the Zamac Gravedigger. I don't know if it's officially called the Zamac, but it's got the Zamac paint, which is just chrome. And, um, and then it has the green flames in front and then the red headlights. It looks sweet on chrome with the red headlights. So I really like this one. I got this one for $3, and I think on eBay it was like 10 or 15 so really cool find. Um, so those are the ones that I have currently in my collection. 
and uh, I'm going to crack open some new ones that I found. So first off, let's get the edge roll. Grave digger. I love cracking these open. Now this has a little guy, um, and I'll show you the little guy, the little grave digger guy. It's not really focusing that well. Here's the edge roll grave digger. I think the roll cage just glows in the dark, so I'll have to check that out tonight. But really neat truck. I like that one. It'll go well with my other grave diggers. And the little guy. I also picked up El Toro Loco, and this is um, with the mud treads. So let's crack this open and show you it. And it has a crushable car, which is cool. There's the crushable car. And here's the truck. Really sweet. Now, I remember watching Bulldozer. And uh, I love the truck with the horns. It's so sweet. It's just really cool looking. The graphics on this red one are just neat. I love the flames. Let's see if it'll focus in here. There we go. The teeth on there with the gold teeth. Really neat. The front end with the bull. I think... The actual bulldozer used to blow smoke out of its nose, so that was really neat. Um, I think this one probably does too, but has the mud treads. I like those. Those are cool. Um, and then I have three superhero trucks. So I have Superman, the brand new Man of Steel one. I have Batman, because I love Batman. And I have Iron Man, um, because those are my three favorite superheroes if I could pick any. So let's just crack those open and show you guys them a little bit up close. Now, I'm not going to show you the guys, because the little guys, because I don't really care. And I don't know. Time. I, I don't want this video to be too long for you guys. Um, but here's Iron Man. Gold tires look sweet. That amazing, like, deep red. I love that color. Looks like really just a sweet car. Kind of looks like a Chevy Vega front end, doesn't it? Old Vega. Um, really cool, cool truck. I like all the tampos on the side here. I don't know if you can see them, but. There's Iron Man, and then I'll crack open Batman next. I know some of these might be older, um, but I don't care because I love me some monster trucks, and I want to show you guys them, and I don't like my stuff sitting in packages for that long. I like cracking it right open for you guys. Letting you see it up close. There's Batman. His says two-time Monster Jam Racing Champion up there. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Iron Man doesn't say it. I don't think he says anything. But like racing champion. I don't, I don't I think he might have won one or two Monster Jam World Finals. I don't really follow it anymore. And then the last one is the Superman truck. This one's brand new. Um, and I think they might uh, this is a different casting or a different well not different casting, but different style. Um, we have a cape that comes off, as you see, and you just popped it right off. Um, I think you pop it right back on. There we go. Um, but this is the Man of Steel truck. And the other, there's an other Superman one that's just a regular Superman, like, comics one. Um, but this one's cool because it says Man of Steel and you can take the cape right off, which is awesome. So if you want to just play around with your truck like this, you can. Um, or if you want to put the cape back on, you can. So, really cool truck. There's without the cape. Put that cape back on, and there it is with it. So really neat trucks. I'm really happy to, to share these guys, share these with you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, if you like my videos, check out my other videos. Um, I got some other racing stuff. I love vintage racing. I love monster trucks. Um, I love road racing i love any vintage hot wheels you know the red lines and, and all that good stuff so thank you guys for watching and uh please subscribe to some of my other video or please subscribe to my channel and watch some of my other videos and uh, i hope you guys liked this video and thanks so much for watching